Oh, winning seems fun. Uh, it is fun. And it, 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 a bunch of times, I don't know how many times those last two guys said, we needed this, we needed this. And just the difference in the tone sounds like you guys really needed this. Yeah. Um, it was fun, man. I, I, I'll be honest with you. We scheduled this game for a few different reasons. One, obviously, we had a break. I didn't want to sit around and mope all week about where we were at. I wanted these guys to know. I'm all in. We're still all in. Let's go find a basketball game and, and kind of let's keep going. And then obviously, you know, we were able to set up a pretty unique situation here where we could stabilize ourselves. We'll get into the weight room tomorrow, a practice gym tomorrow, and kind of give ourselves something. But today when I when I got off the bus for shoot around, we all got up and I never knew, but like Dixie State's like school's in session here. So you get off the bus and there's kids walking around and backpacks and they're going to school and they got signs outside about the game tonight. And tonight was like our first real basketball game. There's a thousand people in there. There's a student section screaming at you. They're saying all kinds of things to you. And to kind of have that slice of hope um, to be a part of this, this is what everyone came to college basketball to do. You came to be a part of, of a game like this. So the outcome's obviously great, but I would also say just the experience today of, of playing a, our first college basketball game with fans in the stands and, and people saying stuff to you and student section screaming at me and screaming at you when you're on the free throw line and all those other things. Um, that, that's why these kids signed up. And that's the, the uh, uh, big benefit to this game that I didn't really think much about on the front end that I think today was really fun for everybody. I think the smiles obviously are for the win, but it was also like, man, this was, this was a college basketball game tonight. And, and it, it was cool. Coach, along those same lines, uh, how is Keith doing? And uh, what, what uh, I mean, it's been tough. You guys had had to yeah. away from home and stuff like that. Yeah, um, man, Keith is. Uh, if you've ever got to spend some time with Keith, he's a, an amazing personality. He's a fun kid to be around, and uh, I, I hope to remain close with Keith for the rest of our lives. I think that the journey that we're on presents a lot of challenges to a lot of people in different ways. I think Keith, along the way, has kind of shown some some different signs to me of. You know, he's going through it. I've offered him a couple of times. Hey, do you want a break? And I think the prospect of going back out again when we kind of got back to Albuquerque for some is a little bit harder than others. And it just kind of opened up, I think, a really honest and authentic conversation about where he's at and where he's going. And I talked to him last night, and it's I, I'm, I'm proud to say that I talked to him last night and he's telling me coach you know my number one thing is I really want to get my degree you know and I'm sitting there going you know what if I right now um I've 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 done an okay job and uh I I hope and wish him all the best this is a very unique time for all of us even you guys on this call all of us are going through things and Keith has my full support as our as does our full team I, I love Keith we all do and and wish him all the best going forward does he plan on playing with you again? Because that, that wasn't really clear. Yeah, I, I, it, it's not something we've discussed at this point. All we've talked about is him staying on track academically, getting his degree, and no one knows where COVID-19 is going to take any of us. So I, I, it's not something he's brought up to me or I brought up to him. It's more just about right now what's best for his, his mental well-being. Well, you've talked a lot this year about, you know, trying to teach these guys in games and, you know, trying to find the right lineup combinations. Like you were just talking earlier about like, this is, you know, this felt like a real basketball game, just with, with everything that you've been working through in your own right. Like, do, do you think you guys got everything you wanted out of this game? Yeah, I think you just keep taking these steps forward. And, you know, sometimes when you take a step forward, it reveals something positive that you want to keep accepting accentuating sometimes when you continue to take these steps forward maybe it shows you something else and we've just got to keep needling away at it um I, I told the guys when we met before we came out you know my first year here it took me a while to figure out that Antonio Jackson was who he was it just took me a little bit of time and it took time for Joe Firstinger to kind of show who he was and I'm not perfect as a coach so you know we just have to keep evolving as a team keep looking at the data that we have not only quantitatively but sometimes qualitatively keep you know wrestling with this lineup and our style and our play we played a little bit of zone tonight in some stretches you know we're doing some different things and just trying to find that sweet spot we're just really early in our development we started november the 20th you know so when you start november the 20th it just takes a little bit more time to get there 
And, you know, I just got to hope that as a staff and as a team, we're just going to kind of keep slowly getting closer. It might not seem like it because it looks like a little bit of a step back, but it's just one more thing to kind of check off the box that maybe we know we don't want to do next time. And you kind of hopefully keep searching closer for what the best course of action is. Coach, how big a deal was it that you got production from the point guard position? Um, obviously, Isaiah was awesome. Um, you know, the, the big thing with Isaiah since he's got here has been his defense and just his physicality. Um, he's a finesse player. That's what makes him such a good offensive player. But it, it you know, poses some limitations on, on his defense. And I thought that that sec, he had a great stretch in the second half. If you saw him, he was standing there with his hands wide out and playing defense exactly how we ask him to, as opposed to reaching and, and just doing things that young kids do. And that to me was the most encouraging thing. He's very offensively gifted, which we need. Uh, I'm happy for him. Uh, I'm happy that Nolan is continuing to get out there as well. So we just got to keep going forward with it. And, and when we find the right answer and exactly who's going to be there, I'll be, I'll be a really happy guy and sleep a lot more when I go to bed at night. Hey, Paul, let me follow – I have a follow-up on a point guard question, and it's just, as you know, Isaiah gets two starts and, and goes 0 for 9 in two games, and then he's back on the bench. Meanwhile, Jeremiah Francis played two of his best games all season coming off the bench. Is your best player the, the backup point guard, who, regardless of who it is? And, and yeah. is there some frustration and planning around that? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great point. It was just brought up to me in radio. You obviously don't want it that way. You know, we flipped it because of I, I thought Jeremiah was playing pretty well, and maybe it was too much for Isaiah. Now you flip it back and you get that. So it's just something we got to keep working through, kind of find the right sweet spot for, for each of those guys or just really our team in general and what's going to put our team in, in the best position to win. So um, we just got to keep watching film. Uh, making the best assessments we can and the best decisions we can. But clearly, to your point, right now, the guy that's coming off the bench has has uh, outproduced who's, who's starting. Hey, Paul, i got one more. The, the height situation. I had a note in today's paper pointing out that your last three games were against three of the top 25 average height teams in the country, Boise State, Nevada, and Utah State. I know you guys have height too, but you guys also have a lot of youth, and maybe they don't know how to play against that kind of height. You guys have 11 block shots, which is one off a program record. You out rebound a team again, 50 to 39, 46 points in the paint. It looked like you guys benefited greatly, offensively at least, from again playing a shorter team. Is it good to have that, you know, Kata out of the out, you know, in the rearview mirror a little bit and have short teams in front of you now? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think I made a point last year. I know we started out really well. I forget what our record was, but the bigger team won every game. At the end of the day, I thought the bigger team on the court. And I think our first three games, we were the bigger team. We played some teams that were bigger than us. And then now we're, we're playing, you know, I think the bigger teams pretty much won every game this year as well. So, you know, we've got to find a way to play match up better. I think if and when we get a son back, that'll help with us. And we have some size too. Uh, the first half tonight was, was frustrating. Every media timeout, I was, I was kind of telling them that Nemius Keda is not on the court. Will you please stop shooting as if he's there? And I think finally at halftime, Coach Padgett lost his mind about it. So I think we still had some Nemius Cata demons there at the beginning of the game. We, we missed a ton of bunnies around the rim. But I thought as the game went on, we were much better. We were finishing to the rim as opposed to away from the rim and two feet instead of one feet. And we, we got better there. So we've got to obviously assert our height on teams that don't have it. And then when we play teams with our with our height we have to do a better job of executing and I think that's our youth more than anything I don't think it's maybe that they're that much bigger than we are I think they're just bigger and more experienced than we are so that's why these games and practices and weightlifting sessions and everything that we're going to do on these trips hopefully just kind of shrinks that margin so the next time we play Boise the next time we play Utah State the next time we play Nevada you know they're going to see a, a better version of us. Paul do you see something coming in the fact that they knew what was going to happen the next couple of weeks and and just a change of scenery. Uh, McQuatch talked about you were in Lubbock for a while. Just a change of scenery did you well. Yeah, um, going home to Albuquerque is is refreshing for everybody. I, I can't say that it's not. When, when we went back to Albuquerque, we went to play Rice. There's a certain pop about you. When we went out to play Nevada, there's a certain pop about you. I, I talked to Coach Prelo about this. You know, when when he went out, the the first stretch you go out is still pretty exciting. 
it's as it goes on, you know, that wear down effect mentally and physically that, that we've been through a couple of times now. And we've got to find a way to make sure we stay fresh, we stay engaged and we work through. Cause as those days add up, um, it, it just, it has an impact and we've got to find a way to, to work through however long this trip is and wherever it ends up taking us, just keeping that, that energy and that enthusiasm, regardless of how long we happen to be away for. We have time Coach, for one more last, last question. Coach has got to get out of here. Because Coach, you a while back, you told know. us that Sam Logwood you reminded you a little bit. Uh, Rod Brown is kind of a Sam Logwood kind of guy. Is that the motor that you were talking about that we saw tonight out of Brown? Yeah, uh, Rod's an elite rebounder. Um, I think, again, he, he was the one that probably saw the most Cata demons early, and, and he wears that a little bit. He puts a lot of pressure on himself too much. So sometimes you see some bad body language on him because – because he's frustrated and Sam was the exact same way. You know, he was either, he always played really, really hard, but there were times you looked at him and thought, man, he's not even having any fun right now. And, and Rod has a little bit of that. We just got to keep him, even when it's not going the way he wants offensively, just happier and kind of playing better. Isabel, I do want to give you one question though. I don't, I know Lee cut you off a little bit, but you can go ahead. Oh, yeah, no worries. Um, I just wanted to ask about UNLV since that's the um, coming up series. So what are the, some of the things that you can take away from this game that are going to help you prepare for them? Yeah, I saw them play that game. They played the non-D1 yesterday, and it, I was like, shoot, that's a good move because, you know, they, they'd had a tough stretch. They lost some close ones, and I thought going in there on a team that only had one win um, would have been prime, but they they – smartly scheduled a game yesterday and got themselves, I think, in the in the wing column. I, I don't know a ton about them. I watched a little bit of their, I think, Alabama game on TV in my hotel. I think we were in, gosh, I don't know where we were. But um, I, I've seen them a little bit. They're obviously fast. They spread the floor. They got great guard play. They play some very small lineups. Um, so it's going to be an interesting contrast of styles. Um, I, I'm, I'm encouraged the way Valdir played tonight. I'm encouraged with some of the things we did around the rim at both ends of the court. So I look forward to, you know, tomorrow getting on the practice court. Uh, part of the reason we set this trip at Dixie is there is no flights. There is no tough travel to Vegas. So hopefully we'll be able to go out Saturday and give it our best shot.